So the next exercise looks at how you can solve equations by using completing the square. And we mentioned this is the third method of solving quadratics right at the beginning of these videos. So I have this expression, no, sorry, equation here. And you may be tempted to do the method we were doing on the previous video, which was to factorize out the three like this, and then to complete the square and then multiply by three, uh, multiply through by three. But that's actually gonna take quite a long time. And there's gonna be a quicker method that we can do for this. The thing that's getting in the way here is this three that we have at the beginning. And if I want to get rid of this three, I can divide everything by three. Now, I wasn't allowed to just divide everything by three in this particular example that I had up here, because otherwise I would have changed the expression. I would have made it three times smaller. But this one I'm allowed to do because it's an equation and it's equal to zero. So as long as I divide everything by three, as long as I divide both sides by three, then this is allowed. And you can see why this is true. If I had something like 15, uh, 15 is equal to 6 plus 9. If I divide this side by 3, I would get 5. If I divide this by 3, I would get 2 plus 3. So I'm allowed to divide everything by 3 if there's an equation. So I have 3x squared minus 18x plus 4 equals 0. I'm going to divide this, this, and this by 3. But I'll just do them one at a time. So that would be x squared minus 6x plus 4 over 3. So I'm going to complete the square. I'm going to half that 6 to get 3. And then I'm going to subtract the 9 from the 3 squared. And I have the plus 4 over 3. Now these are like the equations right at the beginning. I've only got x actually appearing once here. So because it's only appearing once, this means that I can just solve it in the quickest way, which is putting these things onto the other side and square rooting them. So that would be that x minus 3 squared is equal to, add on the 9 and subtract the 4 over 3. So that's going to be 9 subtract 4 thirds, which is 23 over 3. Then I'm going to square root both sides. So that's x minus 3 is equal to the square root of 23 over 3. Remember, it could be plus or negative. And I'm going to add the 3 on, so I get 3 plus or minus the square root of 23 over 3. And you could obviously check that on your calculator to see uh, with the polynomial solver that you've got the, the same answers. OK, well, although exercise 2D is about solving using the completing the square, I thought it would be a useful opportunity to prove the quadratic formula. And because this is in the theme of completing the square, we're going to prove the quadratic formula by completing the square. So I'm going to start off with ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And the thing that's getting in the way here is this a that I have. So I'm going to do the same trick as before. I'm going to divide everything by a. So I would have x squared plus b over a x plus c over a equals zero. And now I'm going to complete the square. So this is the thing here that I would need to half. I need to do a half of b over a, which is just going to be b over 2a. So that's going to be x plus b over 2a squared. Then I need to subtract b over 2a all squared, which is going to be b squared over 4a squared. So it's going to be minusing b squared over 4a squared plus the c over a equals zero. So I am going to put the other stuff onto the other side. That's going to be b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Well, these things don't have a common denominator. So I'm going to need to make a common denominator for this particular fraction that I've got here. And I'm going to do that for this fraction by trying to make the denominator 4a squared. So I'm going to need to multiply the bottom by 4a and the top by 4a to get that common denominator. So let's see what we get. I've still got on my left hand side x plus b over 2a squared equals b squared over 4a squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. So x plus b over 2a squared is equal to b squared minus 4ac over 
4a squared. So the next step is to square root. So that would be x plus b over 2a equals, taking the plus or minus square root, b squared minus 4ac, and the square root of 4a squared, well the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of a squared is a. So it's going to be over 2a. And I don't need to repeat the plus or minus because I've already done it in the numerator. So if I subtract the b over 2a, I would have minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, which gives me minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, because they have a common denominator here of 2a. So that's why the quadratic formula works. It comes from completing the square. And now it's not just some random formula that you are asked to memorize. Now you can see how completing the square makes that true. So now you can have a go at exercise 2D.